Today's episode is a recap of the conversation I had with Raf Chang at the beginning of 2022. And it's befitting because as we close in on the end of the year, obviously the iconic New Year's Eve ball drop in Times Square is something that we all think about. And, uh, and that's actually what Raf and his team do. They are the team behind the, uh, the Dick Clark production, all of those digital screens aligning in, uh, in Times Square to say 10, 9, 8. That's Tiger Party that makes that all come together. So um, I, I think the, the, the sound bite in the, in, the, in the episode itself was that if Elon wants to put a billboard on the moon, he's probably going to use Tiger Party to do it. So uh, I think that that's a good context. They're into the big, crazy digital build outs. They're, they're on the hardware side, the software side. Uh, so that's who Tiger Party is. What it was like talking with Raf, re-listening to the episode. I forgot how many times I laughed or how many times I, I said, wow. And, uh, and that's generally a, uh, a reflection of a great conversation. So it was a lot of fun talking to Raf. He's super, super smart, but he's good at breaking things down on a, on a level that I think the the layman or the 101 version, you can uh, you can understand the concepts that he's talking about. So Raf is awesome. His team is obviously incredible pulling off the work that they do. Uh, but what specifically did I learn? What I learned was that there is an emerging theme amongst guests and episode 111 that, that dropped just last week, episode 111 guest Stu Redwine, he put it this way. He said, life is what happens to you when you're making other plans. So when uh, when Raf and I picked up at the beginning of the conversation, we talked about what he was doing before out of home, and he was pulling off these insane museum exhibitions when he got pulled onto a digital billboard project in Times Square, and ultimately, you know, the rest is is history in the making. So uh, I think the lesson in that is that wherever you are right now, it is only your final destination if you choose it to be. Otherwise, wherever you are right now is exactly where you're meant to be to get to that next chapter, however long that may take. Even if you're perfectly happy with where you are, uh, what I'm constantly reminded of from those of you who are driven by the thrill to learn, explore, build, and discover is that all of this, it only starts to make sense when you look back uh, and that the road ahead, it's not always clear, but keep moving in pursuit of whatever drives you. So that was the first thing that really stood out to me listening back to it was how similar this theme is amongst all of the the guests of the podcast over the last three years. From there, we actually had a pretty technical conversation about what goes into building the amazing digital spectaculars that we see in top cities around the world, like the ones in Times Square. Raf went really deep on what creative considerations need to be made on, on both the, the brand side and the media owner side when designing these screens and designing for these screens. When you're designing creative for these uh, for these screens, it's really, really important um, that, that you do two things. It's a huge, obviously, a huge investment in, uh, in running a campaign on one of these screens, and it's a huge investment to build, build them out. So understanding... Technical capabilities is important so that the creative team retains, uh, so that the creative team is ultimately empowered to do their best work, but so that the creative, um, the creative itself, that it retains its integrity, doesn't end up all distorted or looking crazy. Like, you know, you, you can't just go resize every other ad from your, you know, digital marketing campaign, throw it up on a digital screen. That's really underutilizing what these incredible screens can do. And the second most important thing we we, we kind of landed on in the episode was that uh, was was just that knowing how to leverage the asset to create the most memorable moment. Just knowing the size and you know, hey, my ads are gonna be up there for fifteen seconds. That's that's fine. Uh, and knowing what uh, creative spec to design it to, obviously that's important. But what can you do with the screen? What are the opportunities to create a moment, a memorable brand moment um, using that surface? And uh, ultimately asking what is the job to be done. So that's important for everybody. Good good takeaway there. And then uh, one of the most interesting parts of the conversation to me was was specifically about how Raf's team handles crisis moments. And uh, this one I had written down in big, bold, uh, underlined. And and I think that there's a lesson in this that we can all take out of it. So, so Raf's team, like I said, 
Tiger Party, they're behind all of those digital billboards in Times Square counting down together on New Year's Eve. Why that's hard? It's multiple media owners, multiple different screens. Uh, you know, Some screens have one CMS, other screens have a different CMS. Ultimately, they need to get all of that stuff to talk to each other. And when you're thinking about it, it's a 10-second countdown that if we're off by a millisecond on one screen and off by a millisecond on another screen, all of these internal clocks um, aligning those things is really a uh, a communications exercise. So uh, Raf talks about the importance of having backup systems, whether that's physically as hardware or just redundancies in how you do things. So having multiple backups um, and the soundbite that I wrote down here is specifically about Raf's team, um, how they're structured to handle crisis like a screen going out. Imagine that the the camera is panning around Times Square and one of those digital billboards goes black and we got to get it back up before the camera comes back. For crisis moments like that, Tiger Party dedicates one person to fixing the problem and two people to answering the phone, uh, which I think is a really valuable lesson from a customer success standpoint, because eventually you're going to have something that doesn't go quite right, whatever business you're in. But it's usually easier to just have one person focus on fixing the problem and that the best investment is have is 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 in made <laughs> the best investment is made in having great communication so everyone's on the same page and ex- expectations are appropriately managed. So uh, this is the first of reliving an entire year of out of home insider so I I hope that you're enjoying this format. If you haven't yet, go check out oh OO hired and I realize that that's hard to say so I'm going to I'm going to tell you a little secret at the end. Oh Oh, oh, I want to say ho, 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 because it's like Christmas and stuff. Oh, oh, hired or oh, oh, high red.com. It's basically oh, oh, com. So what I also did, because I realized saying it was very clunky. What I also did was I bought the URL oh, oh, hired.com. So that has two H's oh, oh, hired.com. Uh, and that'll just redirect back to oohired.com. So however you want to type it in, if you want to type it in oohired.com or just oohired.com, it is a completely free community-powered career marketplace specifically for out of home. So it's got a ton of traction. Uh, we just launched it on Saturday. This is completely free. This is an extension of Out of Home Insider. This is part of the Out of Home Insider brand, if you will. Um, and completely free resource. I think here, let's just, I'm just going to check over on the, uh, on the dashboard real quick. I'll give you an, an update. There's new employers being added, um, by the hour. We've got 22 different employers on there. We've got 31 different jobs already. We've had nearly 300 job views since Saturday, which is just incredible. Over a hundred people visited the site yesterday, uh, so really encourage you to check that out. If you're if you're currently looking for your next landing spot and out of home, or if you are a company that is growing and hiring, then uh, please go there, post the job. It's completely free. I've already gotten the question, how is it free? Well, it's free because it's just me. It's just T-Row. It's just, uh, just a one-man band. It's bootstrapped like out of home insider. So um, it is completely free to you. It's free as a job seeker. It's free as a job poster. It's OOHHired.com or OOHHired.com. Either one of those that you type in, 1H or 2, doesn't matter. Uh, They're both going to get you there. It's going to go to the same place. So check that out. This has been the first recap of 2022 and more to follow. So if you found it to be helpful, please share it with somebody who could benefit and make sure to smash that subscribe button and leave a review for the podcast. That's how, that's how we grow. All right. I'll talk to you next time.